Hey everybody, welcome back to the Full Circle Network. I'm Editor-in-Chief of FullCircleCinema.com, Jackson Hayes. Today we are here to review episode 10 of Titans Season 2, otherwise entitled Fallen. Do I have that right, Marcos? Yes, you're correct. I honestly can't remember, and we're going to get into that. Um, sorry, this is probably going to come out a day late. Um, I've been a little under the weather, and I just got back from a trip. And me and Marcos decided that we really weren't that interested in reviewing this episode in general, so... You know, take that as you will, um, let's Marcos. Jump right into it. Yeah, let's just get what. What were your thoughts on episode ten? A fallen, huh? Fallen, fallen. I mean, look. I think you described it perfectly. How uninterested we were. I mean, I barely remember what happened. And I think that's because it feels like a filler episode. Half the stories aren't really that interesting. Everyone split up, and that kind of continued on from like the worst season, worst episode of the series from last week. It wasn't as bad. This is definitely a lot better, but it's just, I don't know, uneventful. was going through the motions, and everything you knew was going to happen happened. Except for one, one part. I think there's one part that does it that does pretty well. It's kind of a big point we'll, for we'll, Dick Grayson's story. Yeah, so. we'll give them what, praise what there thoughts? when we need to give them praise there. Yeah, um, but like you said, right before we started this recording, we were trying to remember what happened in this episode. Which we, What did we watch? Three days ago? Two days ago? When we watched that episode? Um, for on the screener site. Um, yeah, I think so. And I, I made a stop in the middle of it because I said it's not worth the effort to sit here and go through every plot line that happened because they weren't interesting. They weren't interesting. And after last <laughs> week, why should I put the effort in to try to like, like uh, get all these all these thoughts out for something that couldn't hold my attention? It couldn't. It, it, I, yeah. I would have rather been watching anything else rather than that episode of Titans. I would have rather watched episode, the worst episode and, of Swamp Thing. Uh, yeah. Avery Sunderland could have saved this episode uh, that's how just how <laughs> boring and dull it was yeah uh, i guess we, we don't have to go in depth too in depth here i, I mean guess we uh, let's let, let's just yeah. like, i mean we can just bullet point it i guess what was going on let's go with raven we're not gonna go uh, we don't even remember what order it happened in but let's start um, with let's start yeah, with, raven. Let's go with raven so uh, she goes to this homeless shelter is that what that was yes. to get a meal even though pretty nice food that looked that would look pretty but good. But, okay, but let's let me get into the minutia there because I'm gonna just nitpick this because we've got All nothing right. else to Big do. Big words. Okay, so she leaves a fully stocked Bruce Wayne funded tower, right? A building that's full of yeah. food, has anything you need. All these computers probably has probably has tons of money in their Grubhub account, all that kind of stuff. But she Uber's goes to a soup kitchen probably. because she left Donna. Because why? Because who? Um, because where? Because what she's what mad motivation? At Oh, she's mad. Oh, okay. Okay, she's mad. Okay, sure. Whatever. And she's saving people for the first time as a Titan. Oh, right. So that's... What, okay, sure. Okay, so she goes to the soup kitchen. She almost murders a man <laughs> who's obviously abusing her brother, sister, boyfriend. I have no idea. I have no idea what that situation was. Um, But he, she almost murders him, obviously creeps him out. And then they open that other subplot with, with I guess, part of her powers getting out. And there's a gargoyle now flying around yeah, San Francisco yeah, murdering like people. She's like a half evil person and they keep want to push that, but I feel like they're doing such a like a surface level job that I can't right, is that gonna, can't, like, is that gonna come back? Like is that gonna come back? I'm sure you? but like, Do I care? Is that that's the exactly, real question. Exactly that's the real question there. Um but yeah, guess, it moves on from Raven and then uh, of course we get Superboy. Superboy comes back to um to goes back to the Titan Star with along with Beast Boy. Uh, we, we we you know uh, it's revealed that he didn't actually kill anyone even though I'm not we're not idiots and he definitely he, lit up that car. He, uh, that guy is suffering severe burns at the very least. So that article said the article that that was posted on the newspaper Fake said news. four six injured, Fake four news. four two critical four something minor injuries yeah, or critically, something. Critically critically killed. That's Hopefully what, on the front on like the back page of that it says twenty five. Police, San Francisco police officers murdered in horrible <laughs> attack by strange man. Yeah, this is the headline. Because what the hell? He blew up everything. He was, <clears throat> excuse me, he was killing people everywhere. Like, I, you can't tell me he didn't kill anyone. Well, you know, writing. So, and then after that, they go to the tower. They get attacked by Cadmus. Now, Cadmus is not really this extraordinarily bad thing, I guess. I don't know. I, I, well, let's, let's, let, okay, I'll give them props for one other thing. They had this weird mercy grave scene in the car. I kind of dug it with her yeah, and her family. Yeah. I, I didn't was like, oh, it. this is kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah. This is something new. I'm <laughs> sure it's not yeah. It's not really going to come to anything at the end. No, of, no, but, not at all. Know. But you know what? It was more interesting than Hawk and Dove in that bar or whatever the hell Raven was doing. So let's just go with that. Uh, we can mention Donna for, five for like five seconds. Well, poor Donna. Donna was She's us in this clueless. episode. She doesn't care. Wandering around San Francisco being like, wait, what the hell is happening? 
She's like, who's this murdered guy? What does this do with the thing with the gargoyle? And she just keeps calling Dick. She's like, Dick, what's going on? And but she, she doesn't care the, enough to like for, to investigate any further. <laughs> she doesn't go any further into the investigation <laughs> because the only reason she's doing this is because she feels kind of, uh, I guess she feels kind of responsible for Raven because she kind of let her go with her. Is that kind of the, the brunt of the issue guess, here? Like, like, I don't know. She didn't want her to go with her. Raven went with her anyway. Then escaped for some reason. Blamed her for the whole thing. Ran off. And uh, Donna's like, I guess I feel responsible for this kid even though I have no idea. I don't even know her. And then she walks around and people are being murdered. Like, Donna Donna just wants to leave, man. And listen, I don't understand why she wants to leave, but let her, at least let her. I mean, we don't fully understand why she was there to begin with, but that's fine. I, I mean, you, you tell me, why is anyone doing anything anywhere? <laughs> I mean, where's Jason? Where's, you know, I, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I think Jason's probably, like, at, um, it's probably, like, Costco getting, like, stuff. Like, since they don't have any supplies, and this went on to a random Uber. Well, I guess. So, let's... I mean, let's go from... Let's go... Oh, Jesus. Let's... <laughs> okay, let's go to the dick race and stuff. So, okay, I think let's, this is kind of the okay, highlight sure. of the episode. Let's if start, it's gonna, okay, if there's let's a highlight, there's, this is this. Let's start in the prison, I guess. So, at the beginning of the prison, the, the cops are obviously trying to get in. This always happens. It's such a cliche with cop... With prison <laughs> shows or prison things where people go to prison. Same thing happened in Arrow. The, the the guards are like, hey, man, you help us out, and we'll help you out, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, no, I'm just here to do my time. Like, that's how the heroes always go into prison life. They're like, I'm just here to do my time. I'm just here to do my time. For and assaulting of course they, of course the cops. They get out two weeks later. here for seven years. Right. I mean, Jesus. I mean, how long was Barry Allen in prison on The Flash? Sentence like, like, and also awaiting trial. Oh, Jesus. Like, it was like, <laughs> oh, God. Okay, and they but have that okay. prison guard and whatever. He meets these... Um, legal immigrants who just want to come and have a nice life, and they—I guess the show did a good enough job, like making you feel bad for them, how they were involved with like these, these gang yeah, members sure. got involved with them, even though they didn't want to be a part of it. Um, and then I don't know, Marcus. I don't, I don't even know. Just go, <laughs> you go ahead. So, so this I'm is, trying here. This is basically him going to prison. Is basically the origin of the Nightwing name in the comics. That was a weird Kryptonian tale that Superman tells him. But here, of course, they changed it up, which I really, really like. The fact that, you know, they had to change it, which there's no other way to do it. They, could, they weren't going to have Superman on the show. They can barely have old man Bruce. So I'm, I'm fine with that. And I thought that thought the um, the story itself with how, you know, the Nightwing logo comes up, you know, it's that tale from where they were from is interesting enough. And I actually really dug it. And, of course, Dick Raisin helps out those people in the prison. Overall, is pretty good. I think that if you had a better episode surrounding this part of the story, I think you would have had actually a really decent episode. But once again, nothing else was interesting enough to really warrant, like, okay, this is a pretty good episode. It's just not. The only really decent slash highlight thing of this episode is really just Dick Grayson and Nightwing, which we finally, you know, have some movement on that. That means, you know, maybe right, when he let, gets out someday, in seven ad- years, he'll be his Nightwing. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me address something that I've seen since the episode came out this morning. Because usually we don't record these before reactions come out. We yeah. record them a few days before. But because of what the episode, it seems like we're, we're just doing it after. So I've seen some reactions online to the to this to this episode. People are genuinely negative as much as we are. And then, but some people are taking issue with the Nightwing thing, with the, with the, the God thing, yeah, the God, yeah. you know, the bird that would come and save him. How, how they had to like yeah the bluebird yeah. the writers had to like move it around to make it like not connected to the show I guess and I mean just let me address that where like wh- what is connected on this show like what wh- like what do you what do you expect from the show that you would think like they would have some great it twists everything way it's, to it's, explain yeah. Nightwing become or Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing they were never setting up Nightwing in particular they were setting up Dick Grayson becoming something else. They were never specifically setting up Nightwing. If you didn't know that he became Nightwing, you wouldn't know what he was going to become. Like, you know who he is, so you know, but he has to get there. And I don't. Yeah. I I argue that the show wasn't doing a good enough job doing that. They were just they were treading water since last season, since the day, since the episode Jeez. that he burned his suit, yeah. um, in Asylum. They've been treading water with the Dick Grayson story continuously. And this scene in this little portion of the episode gave me something more. It actually gave me a little movement on that, which is definitely the highlight of this mm-hmm. episode because everything else was just mediocre at best. I think you hit the nail on the head, you know? Uh, that's pretty much there. 
Um, and as you said, you know, they've been kind of like really trailing this for a while now. And I think no, no other show would have taken two seasons to give the main character their suit, you know. I think, you know, I think Daredevil is a pretty good comparison where he doesn't get his like comic, com- comic accurate suit until like the end of the first season. And no, absolutely. Course, I think he, that was the idea. He, right. That was the original no, idea. But absolutely. It, the, yeah, the decision to kind of like stretch it out, I understand since they kind of like, okay, they had to like kind of reset for season two. I understand like, okay, you can't just go one night wing right off the bat. But like the fact like it took it took a while, okay? And that's really because they have so many, too many characters, too many like just boring subplots. And sure, we're getting it now, but everything else is that interesting. Right, but, and but I, I don't want to. I think complain. everyone knows that too. I don't. I don't want to complain and nitpick now that we are actually getting it. <laughs> yeah, it's it been is. it's been a full season and more since they've been setting up this Nightwing thing, and it's like, well, it's here. Why am I going to complain about it? Am I like, is it the, is it the my the way I would have done it? No, I would have had him be Nightwing at the end of season one, but it's not my decision to make. So I'm just taking what we get, and what I got, uh, it's fine. It's fine. As long, I, I as long as we get part the movement, the, that part of the story is completely fine, and I would have accepted it either way. Yeah, I mean, but, listen, well, it's just everything else. Like, what what are we what are we supposed to take away? I'm trying to take away something positive, and that's the best I can get. Everything else was just so dull and the useless. The thing is, it's not even like a technically bad episode. It moves no, pretty well. No, it wasn't well. nearly it's, as it's, bad as last yeah. week. Nowhere near as bad. But the problem is, is that it didn't move anything forward, except for this one little portion that I liked. Like that was it. Like, I was literally messaging you about how boring the episode was when that scene came up, and I was like, oh, wait, finally, something interesting going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I was like, well, no, was I was like, oh, my happen. God, I've been watching it for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, finally got something going. And, I mean, listen, Jesus, like, they, they can't juggle storylines on this show. It's obvious. It's just... Yeah. Like, like I mean, look, uh, next episode, I think uh, an image was, like, released, and it's going to have... Um, it's called Elko or something like that. And it's going to have Raven and Starfire back together, which I like because they're a good duo, and Anna Diop is fantastic, and I'm, I'm glad that you're going to have some story. She's the only reason that I may that may save that episode. It's because yes, Anna, Anna is so good, Elko and she's so much better like a, Elko is like a lines. city, right? Like Or like a town. Yeah, it's like this like, town of yeah. the runaway children, I guess, is what we're getting at Ooh. based on the end of the last episode. Maybe to do something heroic or something. That'd be like... Listen, sure, I'm down, <laughs> but this should have been down, this should have been five episodes ago. I mean, look, <laughs> should, the fact like be episode, episode 11. Tw- episode 12 is going to be the Hank and Dawn, I think. The right? fact that that is going to be a Hawk and Dawn-centric episode, Hank, Hank, and, Hank think, and Dawn, and Hawk and Dawn. It's by the title anyways. It is. No, we know it is. Episode 12 is going to focus on, on Hank's fallout from the breakup. And do I care? Oh, absolutely not. And I'm going to be just as frustrated two weeks from now as I am this week, if the not more. Is these episodes really have to work hard for me to like to work hard to like get my interest back, so that when that finale happens, yeah, I'm we're really f- there. We're fishing. And I'm going to be really fishing for exactly. positives we're fishing, here. and I don't want to be doing that until the finale. Even if the finale is great, it's still, it's completely tainted by the do last remember, few episodes. Do you remember the Connor review and the Aqualad review where we couldn't say enough good things about this we're show? Like, this this is next level. We were or like, the, this, or the this is the Bruce Wayne episode, or like. <laughs> Oh, right, we couldn't stop saying that. Even a few weeks, right, Bruce Wayne, just a few weeks ago, glowing review. We loved it. Mm-hmm. And now, now where are we? It just fell off again, and it's incredibly it's like disappointing. It, there wasn't a lot of thought put into a lot of the morality of, of the characters and this, the overall arcs. It just feels half-assed sometimes. Well, I think, I, uh, it's, once again, it's just because they have to, way too many characters. And right, and that's why they to do split them up. And the fact that they split them up made it so much more, so much less interesting because, first of all, they should have split up in the first place. And then you put them in these storylines that don't even matter. And honestly, like, if you're going to split them up, which I kind of understand, you don't split every single character. You can put, like, little groups. Like, I, I should have, it should have been, you know, all the young tit- Titans together doing stuff, and then maybe the adults, like, separated. But like we said last week, like we said last week, we wanted to see what Jason and Rose, two of the more interesting characters on the show, were doing, especially with Jason's fallout. He hasn't been in two episodes. We haven't seen him. Since yeah, the beginning it's, just, of the last episode. It's, it's literally just like, okay, we have two characters, two extra characters that we we're like, okay, we'll just have to forget about them for a little bit. Right, and I guarantee they'll be like, oh, they were just hanging out. They're oh, just wow, hanging out. How interesting the, is that? Wow, the two, more inter- do, the two we'll interesting something. characters you just throw away to the side, and you give me Hawk and Dawn and, and whatever and whatever Raven is doing. I don't care. Like Beast Boy and and Superboy had a had a decent storyline going at the beginning of the last episode, and it just fell apart completely, and it didn't work at all this week, and they did. <clears throat> Excuse me. They did the ridiculous, oh, the scene where he turned into a tiger again. Of all the things he could have turned into, they had trank darts and everything. They could have killed him, 
But you know what? No, he decided to turn into the biggest animal possible. Not like a a, a bird or like a bug. Like, I feel like a bug or something easy, easier How to hard do, would that be? To... How hard would that be? Clearly, they already have the model for the tiger ready to go, and they just keep reusing it. That's fine. You do you. But we can't, you can't just keep doing this and wasting that character. Ryan Potter is too good on this show to be wasted And also wasted the action like wasn't even that like next level. I think Superboy, once again, they, they do no, Superboy no. pretty well. But Compa- Crypto but, was the only thing that was Yeah, like, but compared good. to the, the action in Connor, which I understand, oh, yeah. it, it's it's not it's not even close, not even in the same league. Like they're just exactly. pa- It's paint by numbers, which is disappointing after such a good start. Like it, they even maybe like not care a lot about Superboy, and Superboy was like incredibly interesting in his debut episode. It's frustrating. Once again, I think the next few episodes have a lot of work to do, and I feel like if I feel the same about this one with the next one, I'm just gonna be completely turned off for the last two. Well, t- t- but I have a feeling it's, it, could, it I, could take the crown from last week as one of the worst episodes <laughs> of the series. <laughs> we'll see, but I think perhaps um, it will. We'll see, like just slowly but surely getting back to the quality. This episode was better than the last. Maybe the next one falls suit. Who knows? Here's, let, let's th- let's do this. How would you if if you going after what you saw this week? How would you fix next week? Like not all you cards off the table. You start putting characters together. In, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. Don't even don't even think about what 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 they've laid out for us with the Elko mm-hmm. and the storyline with Raven and whatever. What, what would you do to fix it? I don't know. See, I would I would just lean into the Dick stuff. You got get Dick out of prison, but I think immediately you start putting him together again. You kind of right, but get like get, get Dick out of prison the, and give him yeah. a better perspective on what's happening and what's mm-hmm. on his life. Like give him the direction he needs. Like this should have been the kick in the butt he needed. Give it to him and now let him go off and do heroic things. Let I them mean, be I heroic. They even show him that much next episode. He did a heroic thing this week. One of the one of the <clears throat> only heroic things he's done in recently. Like maybe the entire season, he finally did something good. Like he went and saved. But that doesn't people. matter, Jax. You don't understand. He inadvertently let uh, Jericho die. Come on. That, that's that you should die for that. I, I still can't believe that's what they did. I still can't believe that's how they did it. It's such fru- it's so frustrating. It's okay, so, so frustrating. I do want to mention something, but this is kind of a spoiler since we do know this is the this is what what's actually happening. So if you don't want to know a spoiler. For like, I guess for the future of the season. Yeah, I don't even know when this that, has to do. Yeah, with, I don't even know when this will come in. Like, I, yeah, I, I, don't I, know, I know we so. know this. But like, where the hell is it going to come from? Who knows? Well, maybe next episode. But it seems like um, Jericho's is indeed inside Slade Wilson. That's we heard this. I think. Yeah, we a talked about it last ago. week a little bit. Yeah, and looks like this is indeed the truth. And I mean, it's pretty much what we thought. I guess it makes that episode slightly better. Slightly. Uh, I guess it might make. I have to rewatch those scenes. Scene. It makes those I have to rewatch those better. scenes in context and like sure that's how they, they'd want you to do it. But where is it going to come from? Deathstroke is barely in the show. He he was in one scene last week, and he's he wasn't even in this episode. So like you can't just throw these curveballs out and make me like believe it. Like you need to set it up gradually. Like these are big reveals. You know, superhero television lives on reveals. These big like twists. That may keep people interested, especially these long form ones like the CW does. Constantly, it's a good twist. Twists. I like the twists, of course. I do too, but they could fall flat as hell. See Savitar. You dragged it out, no one liked it. There's tons of examples of ones that are just random that don't work. So don't don't just throw it out there because you, you want to keep this character around. You should have done it gradually in a natural way to make me believe it. Hopefully you do. <laughs> you don't have much time to do it, but I guess I guess I'll take what I can get. That's just what the show is. You'll take what you can get, you know. But that's frustrating because I yeah. what, like why aren't, why aren't we reviewing Watchmen? Like this is what we're reviewing. For Watchmen, so good. But that's because HBO didn't give us screeners for it, so yeah, we're just watching it like plebs. Throw the shade at him. <laughs> hey, I mean, all in all, we I mean, take what true. we can get from Titans, and we take what we can get for screeners, and this is the screeners that we get. And we so. c- we couldn't even get Mandalorian stuff, so maybe we won't review it. Maybe we will. Who knows? Who we knows? Could. I mean, we'll have to decide. I guess we could have this debate right now because it's the only interesting thing to talk about. <laughs> if you're still um, listening and you want to listen to us debate about whether to review The Mandalorian week to week without seeing it early, you know, give stay a like, in, stay in some give a like <laughs> in the, on this, in this episode. Okay? Comment, what Comment are your thoughts? You Do you didn't think like we, this yeah. episode? Comment why you think we should review The Mandalorian week to week. Also, <sighs> yep. I may, okay, you know what? We're 20 minutes in. Can I guess we're kind of done with the episode? We can talk about, like it's DCU news. We'll talk about Star Girls and... Oh yeah, I guess I guess I I, I haven't looked into it because we were recording this, but it's from October, so I don't know if I believe it or not. I have to look into it. So okay, so I guess we learned about the um, Star Girl and how many uh, 
apparently it's only going to be 12 maybe 13 episodes still but we'll see uh, we learned the right are you not are you not talking about the thing that jacob just sent oh no i, I he said I it's been delayed again i thought that's what you were talking about i mean i don't, I don't think so well no he said there's like evidence marcus i mean we don't really need to do this on the call that's what i was saying i need to look into it well the, i'm talking about the um the, the writers and the types of titles you dummy oh. well this is, seems like it's bigger news well, I haven't even read it. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it's, like, bigger. We're professionals here, if you can't tell. I am a professional, and I'm tired of Titans, and it makes me sad. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we can look forward to Harley Quinn reviews. Make yeah, sure. Um, listen, put on I'll your be, calendar. We'll be here. 22nd. The 22nd. 22nd November. He still hasn't seen it. He has to binge them. It's 13 episodes. Yo, relax. I have to watch Smallville. Calm down. No, I'm you didn't. Done. No, I'm, you almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I promise. No, you do not. It, and I'll get I'll get through Harley Quinn. Okay, relax. And I I I'm I'm under embargo, but I can't say that it's better than Titans. <laughs> well, I mean, a paper yeah. bag, a wet paper bag, would be better than Titans. <laughs> I mean, it's re- it's really good. That's all what I'm am saying. I? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where can they find you on social media, Marcus? You find me at Pisgibby not on Twitter. <sighs> if you, you look really me. well, you find me on Instagram yeah. too. But don't be a creep. You can follow me at Jackson eight sixty seven. Follow the page at Full Circle Cine. Follow all of our work at FullCircleCinema.com. Make sure to subscribe to Full Circle Network. And like and comment on this video. Comment if you didn't like the episode. Comment if you did. Maybe you have a different opinion. But if you do... If you loved it, please tell us. Yeah, if you loved it, let me know. I'll argue why I didn't, but listen. We'll get you on the show with a therapist. (laughs) Yeah, we'll pay for your sessions. You clearly need them. (laughs) Alright, so uh, guess guess we'll reluctantly catch you guys next week. (laughs) Hey, if it's good, we never know. No, yeah, well, uh uh-huh.